हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान माई नेम इज डॉक्टर लॉकेंद्र सिंह एंड एज यू नो दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एस थ्री बकेट सो लेट एस कंटिन्यू विद द सेम टॉपिक सो टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन दैट वॉट इज वॉट आर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दिस बकेट लेट एस से दैट प्रॉपर्टी वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट वर्जनिंग सर्वर एक्सेस लॉग वर्जनिंग मीन्स यू कैन कीप मल्टीपल कॉपी ऑफ द सेम फाइल विद सेम नेम सर्व एक्सेस लॉग मीन्स यू कैन वेन एवर एंड रिक्वेस्ट वुड कम टू योर स्टेट योर एस थ्री बुकेट दैट विल गेट लॉग वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ टू लॉन्च योर स्टेटिक साइट यूजिंग एस थ्री बुकेट सो ऑब्जेक्ट लेवल लॉगिंग दैट ऑल द ए पी आई लेवल लॉग्स फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर टेन यूजर्स हु आर वर्किंग योर अकाउंट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट वॉट एवर दे आर डूइंग दैट शुड बी लॉग्ड फाइन so you can enable cloud trail feature and all the data which will which will be captured using cloud trail will be stored in object level storage storage fine so the cloud trail i don't have so i'm not able to select anyone here if you have cloud trail enabled within your account so you will be able to store your logs within s3 bucket fine so now let us talk about security of data by default amazon does not provide any uh this property does not affect existing object in your bucket it means all the objects which have been uploaded that will not get impacted if you enable this but if you want that you should have some feature enable within your account so you can select you can create some keys you or you can upload your on keys within aws kms it means key management service which is provided from amazon side fine so you can upload your all keys here whatever is required to be there so you can enable ksm so whenever a new object will be uploaded so that will be uploaded in such a format that will be encrypted fine okay so let us talk about tags tags in the same manner as you have added multiple tags with ec2 machine if you don't know about ec2 machine you can go to my previous videos where i have discussed about ec2 what ec2 is how does it work and what all components are included in ec2 so you can watch my previous videos so you can add tags to individual files as well now what is transfer acceleration it means for example you have two buckets one bucket is in mumbai region and second book bucket is in north virginia region you want to copy data over internet so what would happen if you try if you try to copy your data from one region to another region you will get definitely normal speed whichever is there but if you want your that you should be given some priority while transferring data so you can enable this option but make sure before enabling this feature you are supposed to compare current acceleration rate that whatever data is being forwarded from one region to another region so you should definitely have a look so these are the some these are some uh, end points which are uh, going to show you that how much speed you are going to get if you upload data so right now what you are seeing here on this particular page is that if you select speed acceleration so it means you are going to get some ada okay within this example aws is trying to upload some sample data from one region to another region and over here you will get to know that how fast your your data will be copied if you select transfer acceleration mechanism fine so within a while only you will get to know that if you upload data from mumbai so how much speed okay that will be 43% slower so it is not always necessary that you are going to get faster speed only so you may get slower as well so before enabling this feature for your bucket so you must check that what speed you are going to get fine so you can only suspend you cannot disable that all the data which has been transferred or which has been initiated for transfer you can, you will not be able to disable that particular feature you will be able to suspend only that upcoming objects will be transferred at normal rate fine now what is request a page if you enable this feature then all the users who are going to access that data which is kept inside your bucket so request a will have to pay for all the amount which will which is supposed to get in accord for transfer of that data but for that particular feature what is required actually that uh, the second party or you can say the uh, the user who is going to access your bucket he should have an account with aws any anonymous user who access that data does not include or is not liable to pay for that particular amount this feature is enabled only for those 
files and folders or resources which are kept under some permissions and which are not accessible for anonymous user it means that is not open for world once you enable any object for world then you shall not be able to impose this feature on that particular user or in on that particular object within your account so i have enabled this fine so once again recap this let us recap this versioning means the particular feature which provides you that you can keep multiple object of same file with same name with different data server access log whatever happens within your account or if someone tries to access file within your s3 bucket so the particular file will be that particular logs will be captured fine so whatever happens within your bucket so all the logs will be captured then website you can ho you can host your static website on s3 bucket logging means you can enable api level logging using cloud trail default encryption by default aws just don't provide you any encryption but if you want you can enable your own encryption method here fine tagging means you can uh, track your objects using tag names as we have done this stuff for ec2 as well we have done some tagging then events whatever happens within your account you will be notified for that you can store all the logs within your within your s3 bucket requester pays means request will have to pay for all the resources whatever he is going to access within your account fine now let us talk about permissions what are permissions so we have some permissions here okay so access control list means this is my account obviously this is my canonical name i can list write object read, read permission i have write bucket permissions i can check so whatever i want i can do this with this what if i want that one another account 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so what if i have a 12 digit account number within my bucket and i want to enable that particular 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay what if i want to add one another account within this particular okay this is one random account number which i have created so what if i want that this account holder this is just random account number this does not belong to anyone i have just pressed some random number so these are 12 digits so what if i want that this account holder should be able to view this particular bucket which i have created known as demo s3 bucket 7800 fine so what if i want so i can save this particular and account id is invalid so this has to be valid id fine okay then public access if you enable this then everyone should be able to read and write whatever permission you are going to give only list only read whatever you want you can assign permission on the on entire bucket then log delivery what would happen with logs when logs will be created within this bucket so what will happen with those logs you can set permission for logs as well fine so this is about a file permission within this bucket and this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching within my next video i'm going to discuss about life cycle replication and analytics and rest of feature of this particular which are which comes under management so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to this video don't forget to press bell icon thank you very much for watching this video have a good time